But speaking of of players who uh, players, another player who you know may not be playing for his team this year. Let's talk about Kyrie Irving. You know, I've came on this platform and I've talked about my thoughts on the vaccine. I'm personally, I'm vaccinated. Um, I know that you two are as well, you know, Uh, and I don't, I'm not here to tell people to go get the vaccine. You do whatever you want. I I, I could care less what you do uh, because I protected myself against the vid, even though I already had it. But, you know, if I'm a teammate of Kyrie's and he's saying, I'm I'm not trying to get the vax. I'm like, yeah, bro, I don't really care about your personal stances. I'm trying to get this chip. Um, I'm going to need you to be here. And, you know, the Nets came out today after first, what, what yesterday, Steve Nash said, oh, yeah, well, you know, we were preparing for Kyrie to be here uh, for away games. And, <laughs> oh, GM was, <laughs> Sean Marks was having none of that. He was like, nah, bro, until you get vaxxed, you – I mean, you might as well just turn in your Nets gear, bro. You're not with the team. So, uh, for you, go to you first, Parlay Pete. If you're if you're Kevin Durant, you're James Harden. What are you saying in the group text to Kyrie? Not the team group text, the KD James Harden Kyrie group text. You know the the the, the ballers group text. What you saying to that man? Like, let's just let's just role play. I'm Kyrie. We'll make you KD, uh, Parlay Pete. And EB, we'll make you we'll make you James Hart since you're from LA. And a lefty. Don't forget it. I bet. So let me shoot out the text. Hey, bro. You see what Sean said, bro. I'm sorry, dog. I ain't getting that vax. Just explain to me, bro. I respect your decision and everything. And I totally understand. I really do, because you can't be forced to do something that you don't want to do. But seriously, tell me what the real reason is for why you don't want to get it. I mean, because you see how this Western medicine is, bro. I can't really trust that. And you see my history, my injury history, where, you know, I've been hurt a few times, but now that I've changed my diet. I've changed my lifestyle. I've looked at other ways of healing. And, and I found myself to be a more healthy individual. I feel better. Uh, um, I'm not looking better. I look like 40 now. But I just feel like a better person. I, I had my best season last year, you know. I just feel like I just can't trust these people because – you never know what this government could be up to, man. You know about the Tuskegee experiment, dog. Like, absolutely, I can't be one of them. And as you know, me and James get hurt all the time too, and we both done it, and we're still kicking ass in practice. Ain't nothing changed with me, but I still do respect everything that you're doing. But it is ultimately hurting our goal. The reason I came here, the reason that you came here, even before James got here, we came here together. Um, the reason that we came here is because we both wanted to win championships because everybody looked at us as somebody that tailed with somebody else to win our championships, even though I was the best player on my team when I won those championships and you made the biggest play in winning yours. But I James, totally James, under- bro, James, you hear what he's talking about right now, though? He's talking about championships and rings and physical things on this earth. Dog, you know life is bigger than that, man. It's about becoming one with yourself, you know. And if these people in their constructs want to judge us by championships and wins and losses, they don't get it because you see what me and you do on the court. You know, no nobody has a step back like you. Nobody under under six five can finish at the rim like I can. You know, we got two of the best handles in the leagues, and Kate. Bro, come on, man. You the Slim Reaper for a reason, dog. You know, easy, easy money sniper, dog. Like, we're true ballers. Like, we don't have to to to, to give in to these constructs to be to for people to know that we ball, bro. I just want to hoop. Come on, James. You hear this, man? I'm not gonna lie to you, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. I, I feel it, man. AKD, we finna eat because now he's not taking the ball out of our hands. We finna win the hey, chip for real with this hey, boy in his house hey, burning sage. Hey. Hey, if my big ass toe wasn't on that fucking line, we would have won the ship this year anyways without that. Exactly. Day. I'm saying we need look what happened to Boston when he went out. Look what happens to teams when he go out. So I'm saying we're gonna do the same thing. The ball in your hands more now, the ball in my hands more now. I think we bet off without him. Oh, and you remember that that young nigga that we drafted, that fucking walking bucket out of LSU uh I forgot his name. Cam the Thomas. Rookie. Cam Thomas, yeah, that nigga can fucking put the ball in the hole, and he's a guard, too. So I guess he's going to be on the floor more with us. 
Oh, yeah, I think we're gonna be all right. Yeah, Kyrie, do what you gotta do, cuz we'll, we'll man, catch you on, flip. Bro. I got, I got hey, a lot of. Hey, just don't bro. ask me for no money, bro. I mean, I know you straight. You still got, you still got your shoes. I'm sure Nike's gonna support you probably more than anybody because we know they support niggas that don't me, play. And so, <laughs> you know, um, uh, no cap, but uh, <laughs> nonetheless, yeah, man. I just, I, I think that. Uh, Kyrie, I'm that was not a good job, decision. y'all. I'm not that was a good job. Decision. Like, like I can speak candidly about why I got it. I got it done, and I got it done early. Like, I got it done early, not necessarily because I want to protect, like, you know, my family um, or anything like that. And I had a brother; one of my brothers had COVID too. I got it because I already knew that these regulations were coming, and um, I was just in New York three weeks ago, and I couldn't go um into uh places because obviously they have that that's the where the restriction is because uh my lady was not vaccinated and so like i knew that there were restrictions that were coming so for me i'm somebody that loves to travel and i like to not be restricted when i'm traveling so from there i just knew that i needed to get it and it wasn't that big of a deal to me i think that we get shots all the time. And I know that this is a recent piece of medicine that's came out. It's not like it's something like a tuberculosis shot or chicken pox shot or flu shot or whatever it is that you want to put on the table where we've been doing it for years. It's been tested enough, but I just look at it kind of as one of those things that wasn't a big deal. Nothing has changed in my life. I, you know, I know Nicki Minaj had said something about her cousin's friend's balls or something that didn't happen to me. And, I know that everybody's a different person and we all react to stuff differently. And so I respect exactly what he's trying to do. And he could be a martyr in it. You know what I mean? He could be the face of anti-vax with this because he's got, he's leaving a lot of money on the table and granted. He's already, he's already the face of flat earth. What, but what people will fail to realize is that Kyrie's already rich. He's already accomplished outside of winning MVP. He's already done everything in the NBA that you can do. He's won a championship. He's been, uh, all NBA. He's been an all star. He's done everything in the NBA. And arguably, if his career ended today and he said, you know what, I'm just going to retire because of this, he would still be strongly considered for the Hall of Fame. He'd he's a Hall of Fame. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a basketball Hall of Famer. As soon as he hit the that's, shot, that's, but that's, he's, that's he's my Hall of Fame. So he, he could Calvin Johnson his way into the Hall of Fame too because of how good he was. Even, even though to me, he was never the best player at his position at any time. I don't think that he was ever the best point guard in the NBA, but that's because that is the got to be the most competitive position in the league. It was he, it went from Chris Paul to Steph, but regardless, he's, the, he's the most skilled. He's the most skilled point guard in the NBA. Yeah, and but he got injured a lot too, and maybe that's why I feel like he was never the best because he was well. He well no, here's the other thing, though. No, but Kyrie at his best, Kyrie playing his best game does not make his team better. No, right, and we saw that with the Celtics. I mean, that it's man should have been deferring to theory. Tatum. He should have been he should have been deferring to, to, to first year Tatum, second year Tatum. Like, hey, bro, <laughs> get that six eight bow and wing that ball. So you know what, Paul A. Pete, similar to you, uh, I figured like my job was gonna make me get it at some point. And uh I was tired of wearing masks at work, and they say, Hey, you get a vaccine card, you ain't gotta wear a mask no more. I was like, I right, bet, shoot me up, doc. But then also it was the same thing, man. I, I I like concerts. You know, we're Falcon season ticket holders. I was pretty sure Arthur wasn't going to put that on us, but I didn't know if Roger was going to put it on us. You know, right. Paul. And if Roger said you got to have you you know, you got to have Vax card to get into the game, or you got to show a, a negative COVID test, bro. I ain't got time to be taking COVID tests every other week before the game, bro. Just give me this damn shot, just in case. And I went to Music Midtown, and part of that was negative COVID test or or uh or a proof of vaccination so I, I i did it to make my life easier i waited for a little while honestly i wasn't in a rush to get it um because i was living in california and i couldn't do anything anyway so it's like it's communism out here i'm locked up so i might as well just be covid free but but the thing is i i was skeptical and i wasn't even skeptical on, on the race thing you know because you know a lot of black people are scared to take this shot because they think it's like a ploy to kill us or some shit i don't know but I was just like, like another 
I mean, we got police out here doing that. So, I mean, it's enough people trying to kill me. I'm not scared of another one. But the, the my point was, I'm like, I done took shots my whole life. You didn't know what was in them. I, I didn't. I've 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 been prescribed medicine. I just take it because the doctor told me. There's some things I've done that I won't show on this podcast randomly. You know, I've I've made out with random chicks. I've had some raw sex too. You know, and guess what, dog? Like, I've never just been like, oh, let me police what's going in my body. So I just can't do it now with with a vaccine. And then when you see how many people are actually getting it, you go, well, if we're all going over the cliff, fuck it. <laughs> I'm going over there too. So I, I just didn't care enough. I did it because I thought I was going to get superpowers and that ended up being a lie. <laughs> so now I just got this vaccine. But anyways, so I think we're all in agreement of we respect what Kyrie did or, or is doing. Like, hey, bro, it's your body, your choice, you know. But at the same time, like, we a team. And for us to win as a team, we need you here. Or maybe they don't, but we would like to have you here because it might make it a little bit easier, especially if somebody gets hurt or if we want a night off and you can go out there and cook. And, and I kind of looked at it the same way. Oh, I got this is a good one for y'all. So we can like man talk about some women's mental health. Right. When when Gabby Douglas, like went through her her piece with the Olympics. You mean Simone, you mean Biles? Simone Biles? Simone Biles. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Not Gabby Douglas. I'm so sorry, Queen. Hey, um, hey, 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 you're mixing up Black Olympics. Okay, they don't look the same. I I don't I, think they do. I don't I, I, well, I don't. I don't know. It sounds like something someone white would say. Don't call me John Gruden. Um. <laughs> so, anyways, with Simone Biles going through her thing, I said, "Look, I respect what she's going through, and I'm not going to sit here and say, oh my God, like you're bad for this or get better or whatever.' I, I I was like, whatever. But if I'm her teammate, yo, I'm pissed. You're the best person on this team." I didn't train my whole life for to get Olympic gold and you've lost your confidence. I res again, I respect your decision to withdraw because you're not right. Cause I, you're not supposed, I don't want you out here if you're not right, but I can still have an opinion on you not being right because, uh, I want a gold. A am I, am I crazy for trying to make that, that the correlation between the two? Yeah, I, I would disagree. Cause the way I see it, is if you're the starting quarterback and then you break your arm and the backup got to come in. So it's it's just something you can't see. It's going on inside. So it's not as easy as like, oh, they bummed out. Like, I don't know what she was going through. I know she had a lot going on with the previous like doctor they had and everything. She wasn't right. She wasn't right inside. It wasn't something you could physically see like, like a broken arm or a, a high ankle sprain. But she wasn't right. So the next person had to go in. To me, I, I equate it that same way. Well, but what you're on the I IR, you got to put it. Like, you wouldn't be mad if your quarterback broke his arm. Like, quarterbacks break their arms. No, 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 no. Uh, my senior year, our quarterback got hurt game one. I was pissed. You were pissed at the situation, not him breaking his arm. Now, well, yes, but 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 I'm but I'm but that's that's the thing. Like, I, I'm pissed that you're not here to be part of this team because you give us our best chance to win. Same but, same for her. But, but we really got to break this down even deeper. This isn't even Kyrie versus the NBA or the Nets. It's Kyrie versus the, the law, the government, because it's not like in, in the NFL, there are players that are not vaccinated. They don't require their players to be vaccinated, just like the NBA doesn't. But because it's indoors and it's in the city of New York, it's going to cause them to miss half the games. The GM is just simply looking at it from a standpoint of, I'm not trying to even half-ass this thing. If you can't be here, then we don't want you here at all, unless you're going to do what we deem, you know, is right, right? You know, it's it's more of Kyrie just going against kind of what America is doing in general. It's not like he's really against KD, Harden, Sean Marks, the Brooklyn Nets organization, or Adam Silver in the NBA. He's just bucking whatever it is that 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 the United States and – Frankly, the world as at large is kind of saying, get vaccinated. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like this thing has been going on long enough. We continue to have restrictions. Everybody needs to fall in line. I don't, we don't give a fuck if you make $30 million a year, if you've got your own sneaker, you've got your own movie and people call you Uncle Drew. Nobody cares. It's basically 
kind of what that is. And he's saying, well, guess what? I don't care about what it is that y'all are saying because there are so many different theories that can debunk the idea of getting this shot from a sense of, oh, well, you can still get it. And then why is it that people that have it are afraid to be around you, even if they can still get it, but they're protected against it and they're less likely to get it. They're less li like, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's just kind of one of those things where he's more so kind of making uh, not a political statement, but just a statement in general about personal rights. Like that's how I kind of look at it. And I'm not mad at him for doing it because everybody has to kind of make their own decision. But I think that Kyrie will eventually get it or else he's going to retire. I don't even think that there's going to be one or the other because the rumor, obviously, that's already came out is that if they trade him, he's going to he's just going to retire anyways. And so um, I think he will either eventually succumb to it and will get it done or he's just not going to play ever again. Yeah, I. So yeah, yeah, I I agree with that. Um, again, like with his reservations and just using logic to, uh, you know, kind of say, well, why am I doing this? Because nothing is changing in the way you're acting, even though you're vax. Like, yeah, Kyrie, we're all on the same page, bro. We're we're we're, we're just people who don't want our rights infringed upon. So <laughs> we sold out. <laughs> Essentially, you know, we just we didn't take the stance. And the one thing I do want to say, though, is I'm not mad at him for taking his stance as as a man. Again, if I'm his teammate, I think differently because I'm selfish and I'm thinking about our team being at their best. But when it comes to the human being making like saying what he's saying, like, yeah, bro, the way that if you're vaxxed, but you still got to wear a mask and you can't be around large groups, what's the point of me getting it then? Like. It, it, Again, I know there are reasons why, because it, it, it makes the symptoms uh, much, makes them easier to deal with. They're not as severe. So, OK, there goes your help for for it. But then you have the guy down in uh, Jonathan Isaacs who was like, Yo, I've already had this. I have the antibodies. So my body is geared to fight against this. So, I mean, what are we really doing here? And I'm not going to make this a, a, a vac, a pro-vax or anti-vax conversation, because we can talk about that for days. And. I just want to say I understand multiple perspectives on this. Now, I don't understand every perspective on it because some stuff that people are saying is stupid. Um, and the people who are just like, you're stupid if you don't get vaxxed, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're probably wrong, too. Uh, there's some middle there's some gray area in here that we can all just say, hey, hey, I understand your skepticism. Um, I understand why you just went and done it like it's OK. And and, and just for Kyrie. It, it, the big thing for Kyrie and the people who are saying the NBA is forcing him to do that. Well, here's the thing. No, no, no company that nobody's entitled to employment with a company. So if, if you don't meet the standards of the comp that the company sets for you, then you don't get to work there. Even if you're more qualified than other people there. Exactly. And I think that goes into where society is moving towards. Like you have to let me be a part of what you're doing. And you have to you have to accommodate me and my beliefs no matter what. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is my house. I pay these bills. Exactly. And and even on a smaller scale for me, like, you know, I have my own company. I do staffing. And, um, you know, so we're contracted by companies. And one of the companies that we work with, one of our biggest clients, they require – uh, their employees and our employees as temporary labor slash, you know, staff labor to be vaccinated. So like, you know, I have to deal with this. I'm hiring people because, you know, temporary labor, you go through people. I deal with this every day. I have to explain this to people every day. I personally, like we already stated, I'm vaccinated, but like uh, my younger brother, Justice isn't, he isn't vaccinated. And um, we're both recruiting people. But we're both talking to them and telling them that they have to be in order to get the position. And we respect the idea of, you know, I've gotten cursed out about it. Nah, I'm not getting this fucking shot, this, that, and the other. Uh, some people that say, I'm willing to get it. You know, there are some people that, that in a weird way, I'm not saying that we got them to get it, but they did get it done in order to get the job. Either that or they, they came up with a hell of a fake. And so 
Oh, they uh, out there, bro. Especially. Oh, I know they're out there. I know people that have them, and so like, uh, we're gonna cut that part though. Scam was gonna scam. Yeah, but regardless, yeah, I think yeah, that you know. it's just a personal choice. Kyrie's gonna have to make that decision if he thinks that his career and what he's been working towards his whole entire life is worth being derailed, even if it is just for a year. He might even just sit out, just like in the NFL last year. Players opted out. They're playing today. You know what I mean? Maybe he just sits out a year, and then next year it's not one of those things. Maybe it is kind of gone to where New York's lifts that band of indoors, you must be vaccinated. We don't know. But he's going to have to make that conscious decision uh, because they got a game next Tuesday that I got to bet on, and I really need to know, you know, so I can get my odds and shit right with the Bucks. you know? 